the Corporate Affairs Commission recently changed the CRP um, by, let's say, 80%. Yeah. So, um, I haven't officially made a video navigating or showing you how to navigate through the um, portal. And though I made a video, but it wasn't like... It wasn't it was clear but not really clear enough but right now so i'll be making that video for you all showing you how to go about in the new portal okay and um some challenges yeah some challenges that you might encounter currently but i believe that you are actually working on needs you understand so um for now i don't know if i'm posting the video not right now immediately after i make the shoot so the portal might not be working very well perfectly but if there are any challenges that you are facing um try to comment let me know so i will know if i have a solution because i have recently registered an ngo but the problem i have now is my company registration are pending and i don't want to send any new registrations okay another thing is that this video i'll be making it on my laptop and also on my mobile phone so in case this notification is coming up on your phone too i just know that it's the same video all right so this is the desktop the laptop version of how to navigate through the CAC or through the new CAC website. The CROP, what it stands for is a corporate or company registration portal. So let's dive into the main video. So first of all, we need to access the CROP website, which is usually or which is the same as a CAC login or CAC website, whichever that's going to take you into the website. So you click on um your login csc or just how the normal way you do access your account so it's actually showing a 404 because this um url was changed so that's why it's showing like this but that is not a problem so i'm already logged into my account and one um good thing about it is that when you when you log into your account it's going to allow you to stay in your account for like 24 hours yeah so if you haven't logged in you can just try to log into your account and you're going to be on this dashboard as you're seeing on your screen so um let me start by explaining what uh these things so we have the pre-incorporation portal so the commission made it possible or made the pre-incorporation and post to be on the same url mean that you don't have to log out to assess your post incorporation so once you log in on the particular website you can assess your pre incorporation you can assess your post incorporation right there so if i want to attend to a post incorporation job i can just click on this post incorporation right here okay so then post incorporation like we know is after a registration has been done you can change do change of name do your um uh, change of email phone number and all of that so i won't really talk much on that because that's why i said the commission changed by 80 percent because the post incorporation the only change that was given to it was for it to be together with the pre-incorporation i hope you get me but every other thing like what you know by final of annual returns every other thing is the same apart from the how like how file your annual returns which have already done the videos so if you have not seen the videos on how to file your annual returns this 2025 like from 2025 because the crp was changed earlier this year so i did videos on how to file, especially for company i did a video on that so please if you're not seeing it please make sure you are seeing that so the post incorporation do not have much to talk about so i won't be focusing on what i just told you is what you need to know but the part i want to be focusing on now is the pre-incorporation so i'm going to click on it and then it's bringing out these three options we have here so we have the name reservation we have the name requiring consent and registration so for your name reservation you are only to use that dashboard when you want to submit business names and company names so business name like um let's say um opera Choma enterprise opera Choma limited so that's when you use this name reservation then when you want to reserve an ngo such as opera Chama foundation so that's where you are meant to be using name requiring consent 
okay so when you want to register even for name upgrade like you want to change from a business to a company that you have to be using name requiring consent so let's refresh our mind what do you understand by name requiring consent so those names that you are submitting and they do charge you five thousand naira. remember that a normal registration normal, normal reservation currently no note that the commission has increased the price of registration which will be made effect or which will be in policy or which will be how am i going to say it or which will be in use coming this first august okay so the commission has made it known that the price has been increased but not yet in use till first of august that's what i'm just trying to say so you know any name what i'm trying to what i'm what i'm the point i want to make or what i want to make you to catch out of it is that the names that require you to pay five thousand naira, you all know that that name is asking or making you to request for consent so those jobs you pay what five thousand naira. so this is the dashboard for it name requiring consent such as your ngo group of companies limited by guarantee and um Maybe any name that has any restricted word, which is required name, requiring consent. So that's why you do that. But for your registration, this dashboard here, registration, this dashboard right here that's tagged as registration, covers both the name you reserved as business name, the name you reserved as company, the name you reserved as an NGO, the name you reserved even as uh, limited by guarantee. So let's go into the dashboard one by one so i'm going to show you so this is for your name reservation hmm? so if you want to do a new name reservation you have to click on this stuff right here new this new um, reservation here so that's where you're going to click on the old portal we had something right here but it's no longer like that so what you need to do is to click on this new name reservation and when you click on that it's going to open up this business classification so i won't really be going deep into it because we might be needing to make new courses okay so please be following us on our channel so that if there are any new courses or i don't know if there will be need so you guys should tell me you all you my family my loved ones sweetheart everybody tell me if i should make a new video or you are okay with the videos that we did on the previous what how okay so we have a um, classification like i told you we just have business name company limited partnership limited liability partnership all these categories all these classification do not need consent so the name reservation you are going to be in for now dated not first from first august you've been paying 500 naira so if you want make sure you want to reserve a business name you click on it and then you click on this um, business type so proprietor or partnership it's just like that so you click on continue you go ahead to um impute your business name and there's the option this is what the ai does but why i said i'm not doing any registration is because the um jobs you are registering are not showing on the website search so that's why i paused but this is what the ai does so let's say you are registering opera enterprise okay i just want to show you how to navigate and not to register so let me just use this as something acts and um our nature of business which is this and then you click on check availability so the ai is going to run a search and if it's available you are going to register if it's not available it's going to prompt you to pay 200 naira, like it's to help you suggest a name okay so this is basically how you navigate for business name company and all of that so it's actually saying opera enterprise did not pass the compliance and um, there is opera blah 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 so there's a similar name to it so i'm not i'm this is not the video on how to register a business on cac this is just how to navigate through the new portal so it's either you are updating the business name if you click on this update it's going to take you back to this place where you have to change the business name or you are getting a name suggestion so when you click on this name suggestion it's going to give you a name suggestion and then you are also to pay 200 naira. please take notes okay so you can take any of these and pay your 200 naira. all right so i'm not doing a video on that so you can do this process whatsoever this is how, just how to use the portal for your name reservation for non-consent names 
then for your name requiring consent you click on it like all these are clickable so you click on each of them just one by one you click on the name requiring consent and then just the same thing you click on your plus icon you provide all details you are asking you to provide so you as you see that this is coming out for incorporated trustee limited and like i said any business that you are adding or reserving that has a restricted word or restricted name in it is going to be requiring a consent so or it's going to be requiring a code so that's why you have the classification here and you'll be uh, you'll be you'll be you'll be um charged five thousand naira for now not august for not from august first all right so now i've shown you the part for name reservation for um, ngo and name reservation let's go back to the post incorporate not post incorporation i'm not going to that area so we are going to the registration and this is where you submit all your approved names all your approved names sorry about that this way you submit all your approved names so if you have your av code if you are going with your av code you click on this stuff right here register new business you input your av code and then you click on continue it's just going to bring out the name for you and you go ahead to your registration then um this is a dashboard i'm not explaining this dashboard because you are aware explained as it is written then we have to look at all these actions okay so these actions um has continue application check payments though this is not yet activated because some person are saying it's not yet activated so if you click on start registration <laughs> if you click on start registration and your work is actually on not some application you can continue your application here you can view your application and all of that those that's what's just on all these actions then for your pending you can just click on it to see what is written there you can fill your application download your receipts and then for your query application you when you click on it it's going to show you modify application that's where you if you're asked to change anything maybe to impute the address of the store then you click on modify application and then if you don't know why you are queried you click on view query history if you want to view your application you click on view application and you want to download your receipt you can do that so if you are actually queried on a name you have to substitute you can see so i believe that this name one was approved one was approved and maybe they are require you to um change it later on then you substitute the name just load your query history and know why your job is appearing on query okay so after that you when you are done you just click on continue continue and it's going to sometimes it's going to ask you to make another payment but once the it's read once your payment has been read and made successful like that it's going to automatically move so uh, i believe i'll be able to explain this so let's go back to this name reservation and see something here let's see what's on the actions so let's see um this is not submitted so okay this is approved sorry this is your approved applications so you can even delete a business that you submitted so that's a new update you can delete you download your receipts you can view details and if the name has been approved you click on go to business registration in our old portal it was written as start registration okay and um, if it was queried like they don't query business names they don't query companies but they can actually query names in um names that require consent okay so you can actually query they can actually query which we have your pending and also for the approved applications under this name require consent if you want to start the registration just click on go to registration you can view application details you can download your receipt and all of that and if you have a query it's going to show right here it's already sh it's showing zero zero because you know the portal is trying to gather back all the jobs that we are missing or that went out so if you have a query so please everyone you advise to check your dashboard even if you're showing zero zero check everywhere enter into everywhere and check so we even some jobs moved from query to not submitted so you have to Go to not submitted the payment is there it's confirmed so just try to resubmit it again so we have this query you can modify when you click on modify the query is the query issue to that name will be will show 
because you can't see anywhere here to check the query history unlike the registration that you have submitted so if you click on this modify application is we are going to see the query here so you can see the reason he said kindly include all trustees as part of the governing body so i hope that i've uh like with this video you will have any issues on how to go about like you will start like i just hope that this video was helpful that's just it because i don't want you to watch this video and at the end of the day it wasn't watch your data and all of that so i just needed to officially because i've been having a lot of people like from youtube saying i should drop a video but the issue is that they want me to start um, making videos on how to register a business name on new, uh, new portal but first of all let's get this and then after that we can move further and i can't register i like i can't do a new video on that because any name that i'm registering now is not usable so for now like i don't know if by monday or so i don't know when i'm even posting this video but if i am able to edit and all of that for this video i'll be posting it and i don't know if the portal is very functional so i can't do any video on how to register so everybody stay calm we all pray for the better so see you in my next video bye